Hi guys, it's Arvin and this is another Lions Wall and today I'm bringing my old friend Champion I haven't used since 12.0 update when they really nerfed him but I decided to try him in this Alliance War this is a tier 2 Alliance War and my path is number 9 the most right path and in this war uh, I won't have much fight I, I don't know why but our opponents just skipped a lot of nodes on the left side but still it's a, it's a gra great practice and remind, reminder of Doctor Strange, so he's a rank 4, 4 uh, 450, but still, he's a nice champion. And first fight is the Hood, and according to his rating, I think it's maybe rank 1 or 2. And wow, this is what diversity uh, make us, makes us to do just put a weak champion just uh, to keep max diversity, so very odd. So Doctor Strange also with Mystic Dispersion will allow him to get power much faster and this is a pretty cool thing because after the nerf his power gain is very very slow, it takes 9 seconds to reach one power bar. But in Alliance War, when the opponents have uh, these uh, different buffs, the Mystic Dispersion can speed things up. So next node is a Mutant and I decided to go with Doctor Strange, all the fight with him, except uh, the mini boss, mini boss is Night Clover, and this is an Arch Archangel, and every time I see Archangel in the Lion's Wall, I thought to myself, think to myself, though the guy probably had very good Lion's Wall attackers if he hasn't used using Archangel as an attacker, so very strange. So when you fight Archangel, the best way is to reach him level 2, it's much easier to evade, but pay attention, when you have 2 power bars, do only 4 hit combo and then dash back, because if you will do 5 hit combo and dash back, it won't be enough, he will reach you and will do a lot of damage. So pay attention to this. Also his level 1 is pretty easy to evade, he uh, do his spin and then he throws at you knives and you need to dash back once and then dash back again when he throws another knife. So we're moving on and this is a mystic fight. And I thought to myself it's also a 5 star. Uh, it probably a magic or maybe mortal here but magic probably won't because it's the main boss and this is guillotine. In this fight, I had some fun in this fight and I'll let you watch, watch this fight.
So without souls, guillotine instead of free attack is very 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 low damage attack. So you can see here, you know. So I have I haven't afraid to you to just allow her to reach level three, and of course because of the buffs, mystic dispersion just just felt a, her power bar uh, with the power, but still. Pretty pretty nice fight with Doctor Strange. I, I really missed playing with him, and I hope they will fix him a little bit and make him a little bit better character. And we have, I think, the last fight with Doctor Strange, and this is a skill champion, and this is a Moon Knight. Moon Knight can be very annoying. He has random evades, but sometimes when he evades, he just can start attacking you. And he also have bleed and stun I think when he attacks so be very careful. Other than this, pretty start straightforward champion. I suggest you when you fight him try to reach uh, level 2 attack. It's much easier to evade than level 1. Here. Just trying to gain health. And if you play with Doctor Strange, keep in mind when you have this uh, health steal mode his uh, armor is very very low so you need to be careful you can still help but if you get hit uh, you will lose a lot of health so pay attention to this one guys well, they do a lot of damage to 440 champions so it's also pretty cool soon assassin will kick off and we will do more damage. I really want to see what Kabam is going to do with Alliance War Wars uh, with the new update. I hope they will change some stuff, make it more interesting. They really need to bring back defender kills. And I think this will fix a lot of issues with current Alliance War, but I don't understand why they aren't doing this. Now in current state, to high tiers, everyone do 100%. And if both alliances uh, are doing maximum maximum diversity, so it will end up with defender uh, rating. So it's pretty sad because you can fight against very strong alliance, and you can fight well, and you will you will still lose because of the ratings. So this fight, this is the last fight here, I didn't manage to reach magic because <laughs> my guys just moved fast and cleared her. Uh, this is the last mini boss, Nightclaw, this is debuff immune, it means also a stun immune. And I think you also copy my abilities and this is Nightclaw with a bug, you will see him disappear like here. And then you probably won't know what he's doing. When you fight stunning you Nightclaw, when you fight Nightclaw, try to switch him uh, to squash buckling mode. It's pretty difficult, especially when you have this uh, evade uh, buff, and also when he undoped, it takes more time to switch his modes. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to not be at the corner, and here I'm doing a 5 key hit combo. He could start hitting me, but it's still worth it. After he switches his mod, he is pretty easy champion to beat. Just bait his specials and attack. So enjoy this fight, guys. We won this war uh, by <laughs> alliance rating, by defenders rating. Both alliances did max diversity. Both alliances did 100%. But we have higher defenders rating, and I think this is. We also had a lot of defender kills. So this uh, this is a good thing, but again, I think it shouldn't be relying on the rating. So enjoy, and if you like my videos, click here to subscribe, like, share, guys, and see you soon in my next video.